tried to make these cookies for Keith yesterday and they kind of look like the saddest thing you've ever seen, but I promise they don't taste that bad. No judgment. First thing I've eaten today. Clearly I just woke up, but I'm far too comfortable with you all now to care. Here's my donut dog. I had a totally different video that I really wanted to film today that I'll probably still end up filming, so I won't give it away for now, but I feel like my mind was just so jumbled I couldn't just sit down and do something else. I feel like there's just so much about my day-to-day -day life that you never really get to see and I feel like it kind of bothers me. I don't know I feel like when life is a little bit more back to normal I definitely want to try and do a little bit more vlogs on my channel. Definitely not taking over my content but sometimes I just feel like doing the same thing over and over again. Oh so popular. It gets boring. It gets repetitive. You don't want to see the same thing over and over again. And I feel like my style of videos to begin with is already kind of like a vlog take on, let's say a challenge, for example. But because I don't want to make those videos like an hour long, I feel like I just haven't been able to catch you up on things that I feel like are a little bit important. So let's have a little bit of an honesty hour with my coffee here. Despite everything that I will try and do in regards to trying different challenges, trying different fitness influencers online, or just trying different types of workouts, I still feel like I haven't found what is the one thing that works for me. Like what is that one workout that is just made for me, made for my body, made for my personality, made for my energy type. The at-home workout was and has been my savior literally for 2020. I don't know what I would have done with myself if I didn't just find a way to move in my apartment, in my bedroom, in the hallway, in my office even. But after a while, I just know myself well enough to recognize that I do not get to push myself as hard as I should be pushed when it's just me in the television or me watching the YouTube video, you know? This sounds so dramatic. I'm moving the camera, I'm tired of sitting like that. <laughs> if you've been following my podcast, and I think I updated you on this in the video where I tried a 600 calorie workout from Jeanette Jenkins. I mentioned that I had started going to a real in-person, real life fitness studio. But of course, fitness studios also can cost a lot of money. And that's where it can be really, really difficult because I can't be going there every single day because I can't pay for classes every single day. So it just got me thinking and I was just getting a little bit distraught because it felt like I had been trying everything in the book. And it frustrates me because I feel like I will work out so many days a week and I'll try and eat so well and I just feel like I see no progress. But I just wanna be happy with my routine. I wanna find an exercise schedule, or an exercise routine that works for me mentally and physically. So I mentioned this to Keith a little bit ago and essentially he was like, all right, let's go through you know, what you've tried before. What have you liked? What have you not liked? What are the things that you maybe haven't really tried yet? And that's where we sort of came upon the idea of running. I think I've mentioned this before once or twice, but I am convinced, like deep in my heart of hearts, that I am born to be a runner. Now, by the looks of me, you probably wouldn't guess that. Like my family's athletic, both of my sisters have literally run marathons before. I wanna find it, I wanna be a runner. I feel like running is the one exercise that I just really haven't fully dove into. I just have never really given it a big enough of a chance. I think I can run fairly easily about three miles or so and then after that it just feels like Oh dear God. I hope that this is not like an hour long monologue, but I just feel like I have so much to say about this. So about two weeks ago or so, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to stop making excuses. I'm just going to basically force myself to run. Not far, not long, not at a certain pace, just go. Essentially, I am trying to have myself go on a run about three or four times every single week. Uh, that's a little bit advantageous if we're being honest. It's a lot more like two or three times. You get the gist. But we're working on it and I feel like I haven't really been on runs in some time. So either way, even doing one run is such progress for me. But I'm just trying, you know, we're not doing anything too wild, nothing too crazy, not going too fast. But I figured I would show you just kind of like what I'm trying to do. And legitimately, I cannot emphasize this enough, but by no means am I 
any pro in the running space whatsoever. I'm no pro in any space. Everything I just share is always from my personal experience. Please never get that twisted, no pun intended. But if you are a runner or if you have any tips that have just been foolproof for you throughout your running journey, please share them in the comments down below. I genuinely feel like I just need the help. It would be a really cool space maybe for other runners or aspiring runners to get some motivation or tips as well. Leave them in the comments down below. Hopefully we can just I don't know, help a sister out. Such a dramatic morning, this literally never happens, but all of a sudden I remembered that my video was about to go live and I'd love to just get on the computer um, right away once it gets uploaded so then I can actually respond to comments, I can talk to you all. This is my really messy office right now, which has turned into a laundry room. These are my attempt at having TikTok lights. There we go. I get like so nervous. Also, craziest thing ever. I was having really bad wrist problems with the Apple mouse. I bought this new computer and I got this typical mouse, which is what comes with a MacBook, but it's so not ergodynamic that my wrist was just sitting like this and I was getting such bad wrist problems. So I went online, found this mouse, which is a vertical mouse. Literally the weirdest thing you've ever seen. Uh, it took me a really long time to get used to it. Now, I literally love it so much. You use it like this. So strange, but I feel like an ergodynamic queen. Okay, I need to upload a thumbnail before we get going. <laughs> I don't like my thumbnail literally whatsoever, but I need to at least have one there. So we're just gonna throw it up. I know that obviously this type of content is not interesting for everybody, but it just feels so natural to be able to just chat with you all. That's also just why I've come to love podcasting so much because I feel like it's such a good challenge for me in a really, really good way. It helps me be more precise, not rant so much, although I do love to rant. And also I'm no fitness expert in the slightest. It's definitely not something that is my expertise. It's more so just my passion. And I just always wanna be transparent about that, especially if there are new people to my channel. I never want you to think that I'm coming on here like fitness pro because clearly I'm not, but I enjoy it. Okay, look at this, this is the irony. This is the creator studio, you know, where you have different comments from different videos and whatnot. This is my video where I did running a mile every single day for a month. It's so funny because so many people will comment on that video like, you ran a mile like a week. But the whole point of it wasn't about like how far I was running. It was about somebody like me who can't run, trying to become a runner or just, you know, doing it every single day, the consistency, I digress. Literally the first comment I just got 12 minutes ago, my sisters run marathons, what do I run? My mouth. And it's true. All I do is run my mouth, they're runners, it's just, it's frustrating. But not for long, Satan. I definitely already want another coffee, which maybe is ridiculous, but I probably should also eat something, get some water in me if we're gonna go on a run and whatnot. I, however, really think that it would be really smart of me. Sorry, you're probably like, what just happened? Yeah, Keith and I tried to put up this ginormous spider web. Um, it's so bad. Not only is it uh, pretty atrocious looking, it just really was a pain in the butt to put up. Um, I, you know, the effort is really what counts here, but the web is just not it. I was really trying to go for those spooky season vibes, and then I was just too smug to admit it didn't look good after I paid for it, so I just left it. <laughs> That's that. But as I was saying, I really think I should be going to the store. I got a few things that I think I kind of want to return. They just don't really fit well. Oh, I got these shoes yesterday and they're kind of like knockoffs of Prada. They're a little bit ugly. Keith says that they look like church shoes, um, but I kind of love them. Like I love the ugliness of them. Let me just put them on with my PJs. So yeah, this is them. Um, what do you think? Okay, honestly, I think that they're pretty freaking cool. They're a little weird, but you know, you just kind of live to love them. I feel like I have not shopped for the entirety of 2020 because why would I? Like, why would I need to buy clothes? But now I'm just like itching to buy things because fall is my favorite season of clothing. Sorry, Reese is playing with her toy. And it's just the cutest for me. And once I start, I can't stop. Like once I buy one order, I'm like, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> We love the new shoes! What's going on? So, I think I'm gonna get a little, whoop, I think I'm gonna get a little bit ready. Here's another thing about running. Like, I know myself and I know that I will procrastinate all day long and then as the day gets later and later, I'll come up with more and more reasons on why I don't wanna go and then why I shouldn't go and then I don't go. But in this circumstance, I do actually have a few errands to run. I really just wanna go get a coffee. Okay, you guys don't wanna see me just rub serum on, so I'll see you in the car. We're on the road. 
on the Yambo. I basically bought a whole bunch of these cute skirts because I love skirts and I feel like skirts are actually pretty in right now and I'm gonna take full advantage of that opportunity. Literally, it's like my high school uniform. This is like one of the skirts that I really wanted to try and wear, but the waistband is so darn flexible. It's just definitely not gonna hold up. So I'm just gonna go try and exchange it, return it, whatever. Wish me luck. Also, I'm just realizing, I think the last time I was here was when I was filming my gallon of water video and I was running around because I couldn't find a bathroom. And that feels like a century ago, but that was literally February. Like this year is the strangest year of all time. Like time is absolutely a social construct. Total success. I ended up returning two or three things and then kind of just exchanged them with two or three other things, which I had been wanting anyways and couldn't find on the website. So this is way better, honestly. All right, off to find some coffee. I'm kind of nervous. I think I might need to go to a Starbucks. That is all right. I guess I'll be like a basic little bee and get myself a pumpkin spice latte, which just have such a bad rep when honestly, they're darn delicious, okay? All the haters just gonna hate. A few moments later. I basically just got Totally lost, had no idea where I was going. Story of my Washingtonian life. Totally forgot about the coffee. Now I have to unfortunately abort my coffee mission. I just need to change my clothes quickly, go on the run and just get my day on with. All right, so I just changed. I pretty much just threw on this random shirt. This is actually Blair Walnuts merchandise. Merchandise. Sometimes I just say things, I'm like, why the f did I say that? Anyways, these are Gymshark Flex leggings. I think these are one of my original pairs of Gymsharks. I've had them for forever. And then what I usually like to do is eat something just very, very light, but enough to fuel me, and then also drink at least half of this water bottle. So that would be about 1,000 milliliters. So I just like to feel hydrated enough that I'm not dying, obviously. And then for my snack, I'm just about to make this toast. This is rye toast from Trader Joe's. It's so darn good. And then I will heat it up and then throw on this avocado, which I don't even know if that looks ripe or not, but we're gonna make it. Okay, it's absolutely freezing right now. I'm trying my hardest to not just turn around, drive back home, go back inside, but feeling determined, feeling ready. Honestly, I just do like little tiny little arm stretches here and there before we go. Always forget about the arms, very important. And then of course, a little bit of active leg stretching. That's what my sister told me, a marathon runner. <laughs> and yeah, just try not to humiliate myself. I'll usually go for about maybe two or three miles, just depending how I feel. Definitely don't sprint the whole time. Um, and just try to enjoy myself. Okay, so out of breath, but stopping for a second so I can talk. Two things, one, I really like going on runs earlier in the day because it makes me feel like, you know, it's just done and dusted, but definitely have so much more energy if I wait till the afternoon. And then also number two, breathing technique. So I saw this on TikTok, but actually it has been a lifesaver. Essentially you do two breaths in, two breaths out, and you match it with every step that you take. And that has been so darn helpful for me. Can you even hear me? I don't even know, but anyways, try this breathing thing. I have such bad technique. Who the f here, so you know? Actually, I'm sure it's very important. Hi, just finished taking a shower. Reese is eating, so sorry if you hear some chomping in the background. Just about to make dinner. I have another green chef, so I'm gonna be making this porcini mashed potatoes, which sounds divine. Uh, but the run was pretty good overall. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had to stop a few times. I didn't absolutely enjoy it, but I'm proud of myself that I went because I was really, really procrastinating it. And just as the day goes on and on, I just don't wanna work out, you know? I'd much rather just wake up and almost forget that I'm even working out. Like I'm still half asleep, so I'm just flowing through the motions. But yeah, like I mentioned, if you are an expert in running or if you're a beginner yourself and you have any tips that you wanna share with the class, please leave them in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you. Also, just let me know if you liked this style of video, if this was something that you enjoyed watching. Always love hearing your feedback or just comment to comment. I love talking with you. DM me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, wherever the heck you wanna DM me. Always here to chat with you all. Makes my entire day and you make my world go round. Love you all so stinking much. I'm starving, so I'm gonna make myself some food, but I hope you have a good rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Thinking of you, stay safe, mask up, 
I'll see you in the next one.